Hello everyone, this is Janice, and today I'm going to share a card that I made for my pastor's wife. She's having a birthday coming up here at the beginning of February, and for my neighbor, Linda, who is also having a birthday. So I thought I would make them both a sweet and classy card, and I really like the way this turned out. As you can see, possibly, you can see there the shine on the tea set. It is glossy accents. I don't, I have no ability to emboss right now. I'm still waiting for my cuddle bug to come from Provocraft and my heat setting tool died a couple days ago. So I cannot emboss. I cannot dry emboss. I cannot heat emboss. So I really wanted to add embossing to the tea set and so glossy accents came to the rescue. And there it is. So thankfully I have that. So let's go ahead and get started. I'll show you how I did this. I used two cartridges. I used the Twinkle Toes Light Cricut Light cartridge. <clears throat> and I have, I don't have the book because, you know, I share my cartridges with, oh my gosh, with my friend. And she has the, the cartridge. And I'm trying to see if you could see here. This is the, what do you call it, you know, the back of the cartridge, and it's this image down here, right there, and um, if I show you on my gypsy, I can show you the actual cartridge, it is, I don't know if you know this, if you're new to using your gypsy, when you have your image up here, if you go like that. It shows you what cartridge it came from. And what I used was this one, 40, image number 44. I used the shadow for the card base, because it is a shape card. And then I used the oval, okay? And then I used the shift of the regular button is um, this piece right here, okay? And I cut all of those at four and a half inches. And if you see this layer here, I welded two to make the card base. Okay. Um, and then the T set here came. If you go like this, sorry, I keep moving. Go like that. If you look here, there is the T set right there, number 20, one, two, three, four, five, 25 in the shift. The regular button is like a little old fashioned <coughs> wagon, you know. So, anyway, that's those are the details. Oh, and what size did I cut it? I cut it at three inches. <coughs> My little T set is cut at three inches and I love it and I wanted it to be creamy so it would look like you know bone china <coughs> and all my um, these creamy papers are from recollections cream colored cardstock and then these ones this one came from um, latte or something like that DCWV and this one is from that kitchen one I don't remember if it's called Nana's Kitchen or something like that. Okay, so there's our pieces. <clears throat> We're going to work on our base here. I'm going to just go ahead and fold it down. Like that. And then I cut an extra one because, you know, you get this little piece here. I'm going to move my camera because... And that's going to go there. Okay, match it up. Before I do anything else, we're going to do some distressing. I used antique linen foam piece and this stamp that came from Michael's. It's a, I believe it's a Hero Arts cling. And I'm going to stamp this background on on here. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. 
do about my heat tool. What do you all think? What do you guys like to use the best? Like I said, the one I had was the Silver Marvy Uchida. But I've seen a lot of people say they really like their Heat It, their Ranger one, the Ranger heat tool. I hear that it doesn't blow very hard, but that it does heat up. But then there's people who've said that it doesn't heat up, so I'm kind of, I don't know. I don't know what to do. But I like the Marvy one. Even though it blows really hard, it gets hot very fast. And I loved that. I was thinking it was going to be a great tool for me. And, yeah. Okay, then I've got a happy birthday here that... It looks to me like it's one of those Studio G from Joann's or Michael's. It's probably from Joann's, but I'm not sure. Just a little happy birthday for down here. And I'm using the Dusty Concord because it matches this purple right here. So I'm going to set that aside. That's going to get glossy accented, but I'm going to do that at the end so that I don't have any mishaps with, you know, getting my fingers in it or whatever. Okay, then I'm going to take my Dusty Concord <coughs> with the distress. This is an old block from a stamp that I removed and put on uh, the foam, you know, the um, cling mount foam. So I just made my own. I just put a, you know, Velcro, the hook part, I guess is down here. Alright, now, you know how sometimes when you cut on your Cricut, you get all those white areas? Well, I think that looks, unless you're trying to go for a distressed look, I, I don't like that. So it's good to just take your distress ink, if you have it. You can do this with other inks. Um, you know, you can try it with a makeup sponge. But um, that's what I like to do. And I love like all those spellbinder dies. I know a lot of people are really into those, but I just feel like it's. I, trust me, I would love to have them, but I'm trying to, you know, keep within a good budget and not spend. And so I really don't need them because I have so many image like, images like this on my Cricut cartridges that. I just don't need it, so I, I will not be getting into those dies. I have way too many Cricut cartridges to do that. If I didn't have a Cricut, I think I would definitely do it because they're amazing and they're beautiful. Um, and I and I can see they don't take up a lot of space, so that's good. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to set that aside, and I'm going to work with this piece right here. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to use our antique linen again. I'm just going to go around the edges of this layer. to do the same to my tea scent. I just want to give that purple a chance to dry a little bit so I don't smudge it. Something I want to do with this tea set is I want to cut it out of silver and then I want to emboss it once my cuddle bug comes in. I want to emboss it with like say maybe the Victoria embossing folder or any other kind of swirly embossing folder so it looks like a you know like a silver tea set. My neighbor across the street, the one who I'm making this card for, <laughs> she has a cuddle bug. I should go ask her to borrow it. I might do that today. I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm just going to stay home and 
craft. Play on the Wii. Oh, look at what I did. Did it on the wrong side. I was thinking that as I was doing it. You guys were probably yelling at me. You're doing it wrong. It's okay. <coughs> we'll just do this side. Thinking my cuddle bug maybe will be here this week. <clears throat> you know, it's coming all the way from Utah, so I knew it would take a good, you know, at least two weeks. Maybe more. I need to be patient. Okay, so it's gonna ATG. So there's my card base. I'm gonna make a cute cloud too. All right, now, next thing we wanna do is I wanna add the ribbon. I used seam binding for this. And this block here is three by three, okay? And I used the three by three because I wanted my ribbon to go, you'll see. So I'm just going to tie a regular bow. And I don't want it to be too big, but not too small. So I'm just going to tug on it. <clears throat> I like the way this one is, the size of it. So it needs to be just a tad smaller. Okay. I'm going to cut it, I'll cut it after. Okay, so this is what I do. So now I end up with like a, like a ring, and I'm just going to cut it over here, and then I can tape it. Okay, so let's tape it to the back. Miss Linda likes this green color. Oh, that's not good. I don't like that. I want it more of a peak. I'm sorry about the chit chat in the background. They're so loud. My house is very small, so there's nowhere to go where it's really quiet unless I'm here by myself, which doesn't happen often. But that's okay. All right, so there's my bow. So sweet. And to this one, I added the antique gold. Um, air, I'm sorry, not antique. Oh, the heirloom gold, but I'm not gonna do it to Linda's because I think she would probably. You know what? Let's just do it because it's gotta dry. So I gotta do it right now. If I had my heat tool, I would just have done this ahead of time. I'm just going to spritz it a little bit and then I'll take a cloth and just, oh, I kind of like it. See? That's 
kind of neat. Okay, so yeah, so that's the Perfect Pearls Mist Heirloom Gold. I got this from Blitzy. If you haven't checked out Blitzy, check it out. I'm trying not to shop, so I'm trying to stay away. <laughs> okay, so that's going to go there. Love these pearls from Celebrate It, although I've been watching all those must-have videos and <laughs> you guys are killing me with the um, flat back pearls that you all get. Oh, they're beautiful. I don't know. So, we may have to try some of those and all the pretty trims and all that. I don't really find those things when I go to my thrift stores. I probably just don't go enough. I just don't um, get to go shopping where I'm not always in a hurry, you know. And you can't really go in a thrift store and be in a hurry. You have to just have patience and dig and all that. <clears throat> so that's okay. And I'm gonna just keep going around. So, um, a glossy accents is perfect for adding things like pearls. And I got these from Michaels, and I love them. I kind of wish I had stocked up on some gold and silver from Christmas because those can be for any time. It's just the perfect little jewelry for your. Elegant cards. I'm just going to trim it right here. And just bring it back. Uh oh. It's giving me a problem. Ugh. This only happens when I'm doing a video. Seriously. What's happened, it's turned a little bit and it's sticking to my fingers. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave it alone. Let it dry. Just wanted to kind of bring it in a little bit. Okay. All right, then, now the bow is all crazy, look at that. <laughs> and then, I'm not using my own <clears throat> fun foam because I wanted it to be higher because of those pearls. So I'm just using these ones and I don't know, I've had these forever, I don't remember where they came from. Probably my goals. <clears throat> and this little handle here. I mean, not the handle, the spout. Means. Because once you put the glossy accents, the paper gets a little bit. Um, it gets kind of like. It's wet, you know, so the paper warps a little bit and then the spout kind of droops a little bit while it's drying. So this will help it. Just give it a little support and stability. Okay, so that's all done. 
and then I'm just gonna put that right there. Fluff up my bow that got all smashed. It's gonna get smashed in the envelope anyway. Let's see how sweet that is. And then now I will take my glossy accents and I'm just gonna put it all over. And I tend to hoard this stuff, so I'm not gonna hoard it anymore. I'm just gonna use it because it lasts. So I'm not going to show you that whole thing, but you can see there you just kind of, like you're coloring it in and it kind of levels itself. If you see some bubbles, just kind of tap it on the back and, and just do the whole thing and let it dry. So thanks for watching my very long video. Bye.